I'm trying to decide if I want to stay another day or not. This was kind of supposed to be a layover. I wasn't really sure. I'm about two hours into town where I need to pick up my mail and get some other things done. So, I don't know. I like it here. The internet's good. I'm in really no hurry to get there. So, I might just stay here another day. There ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to mind your own. to another campsite but I think I'll be back to this one I'm starting to think that um sorry about that <laughs> I'm starting to think that I may not do as much traveling this summer as I was thinking I don't know I was looking at Montana and Wyoming last night there's not a lot of boondocking I've been on the road four years I have been traveling non-stop for four years and um, I might want to relax a little bit this year Think. I don't know we'll see but right now I am heading to Colorado because I do I don't think I've ever even set tire in Colorado since I have been in the RV I've been to Colorado I've done a lot of road trips I've done a lot of traveling um, I before I started living in an RV I'd been to I think 32 states seems like more than that that means 32 that means there's 18 states I hadn't been to I don't know, I'll have to look at it again. But anyway, you know, I moved around a lot as a kid. I did a couple road trips. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm heading to Colorado because I had not been there. And um, I don't know, that might be as far as I'm gonna go. I might bounce between Colorado and Utah. We'll see. I don't know, oops. Tree. <laughs> Low hanging tree. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll take it day by day, you know? I don't have to make any decisions today. That's the beauty of life. We really don't have to make any decisions today. Sometimes we do. <laughs> I don't. How's my Sadie girl doing? Is Dramamine kicking in yet? We went on a short trip around town one day and she didn't get um, sick, so I, one day we went for a ride and a short ride and I didn't give her Dramamine and she got sick. So she's still doing Dramamine. Hopefully she'll outgrow. Got some low branches here. Hopefully she'll outgrow the motion sickness and I put a, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I put a thing over there when I got Huck to start filming Huck while we drive. Um, of course, I never got to use it. And I'm hoping that Sadie outgrows this and um, she'll be up on the dashboard like Capone used to and I'll put a GoPro over there. So we'll get to see Sadie while we drive. But we're coming into the popular area of this this um, area. <laughs> I Like I said, remember how I always said that I find the best campsites by going beyond the crowds? Well, a lot of people would come in here. Well, these are, you know, where the, a lot of the bigger rigs hang out, but a lot of people would come, come into this area and stop here because this is where everybody is. Uh, people, you know, I'm really starting to realize how comfortable people are around other people. <laughs> um, I know that sounds silly, but, um, and how I don't necessarily need to see people around me to feel safe and comfortable because look at this I mean people just I don't understand I do not understand why you would congregate here when you can go there's millions of roads out here I've been here a week and Sadie and I walk every day and there's still roads I want to explore I mean there's just so much out here and there's a van here most of them are bigger rigs so I understand that with a bigger rig but uh yeah, but if you, you know, if you want solitude like I do, if you want to be able to walk around in your pajamas with your coffee in the morning like I do, I mean, I'm, you know, I could do it here, but I'm self-conscious about that, you know? And people forget I'm an introvert. 
And so I don't mind being alone. And being an introvert, being around other people is a little stressful. It just means that, I don't know, maybe because I'm too self-conscious. You know, I feel self-conscious going out in a tank top without a bra if somebody can see me. And I'd rather be out where nobody can see me. Um, you know, that's just me. It's just how I live. But um, how do I get out of here? <laughs> All right. So it's beautiful. Can you see this? I think the GoPro is picking up this. And, you know, it really sucks that women have been made to feel um, self-conscious about our bodies. It really sucks that women are self-conscious walking around, especially someone like me. You know, I'll just leave it at that. Um, who is, you know, self-conscious for not wearing a bra. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. You know, it's our natural body that we were born with. Why are we made to feel so self-conscious about it? Why are we made to feel that we need to boost it up? I know a lot of women who are like bigger breasted, you have to wear bras because it's, um, I guess it hurts. I don't see, I don't have that problem. Never had that problem. So I don't need to wear one, but uh, yeah, um, you know, but yeah, we're told that it, we're told that everything needs to be um, accentuated or everything needs to be, um, what's the word? There's another word I'm looking for that, you know, we wear makeup to just bring out, to highlight. Well, fuck that. You know what? I mean, our bodies are beautiful just the way they are. And the fact that we can't even go out brawless without it being obscene. When I've seen men with bigger boobs than me going out brawless, <laughs> you know, it's just not right. It's just not right. I'm doing my little part here to try to change that, but I'm still self-conscious. I still don't want to go out of my rig, you know, with neighbors, you know, in stuff that I wear when I'm by myself. So you can't undo 52 years of programming. Um, about what a woman should be overnight or in four years. It takes a long time. But hopefully the younger women and women like me who believe in being natural can uh, at least allow, at least open up acceptance for women who choose to be natural. And that was my whole goal with going gray. That's my whole goal <laughs> with everything that I do. I'm going to drive down. I'm on the highway. Bye. Through this world where you guide me Through this pain where you always hold my hand When I need you, when I don't know what I'm doing with myself I'm a lost soul Walking through this world like I have some idea When I don't, oh I don't And I take on the baggage Cause I think that I can And I wait for oh my the God. Right time There's this is snow flurries. Oh my, it's June 7th. I'm at like 8,000 feet. I didn't see anything about snow flurries anywhere. Holy cow.
driving through Hatch, Utah. It's cute. It's fun to be someplace I haven't been before. It's been a while, I think. Well, yeah. Outlaw Saloon. Utah town. I love all these little towns here. They're just really quaint, really cute. I really like Utah. Hey puppy, let's get the heck out of Dodge. What do you think? I think we can find a rest area, stop and have lunch. What do you think? at a rest area. It's a beautiful rest area. Let Sadie out. Oh my gosh, it is freezing. When I first got here, it was snowing. It is really cold. I love Utah. It's beautiful.
All right, well, my little road trip to Colorado isn't over yet. There's a lot more Utah views, gorgeous red rock like this, and another fun stop. So be sure to subscribe below and stay tuned next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. See you soon.